So I woke up this morning and I didn't feel great. And I feel tired and I went to sleep at a reasonable time. And then I finally realized why I feel this way. I started that fun time. So what I'm, I'm finally gonna do something I've been trying to do for a while, which is I'm trying to at least cut down on my footprint. Yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of sleepy. Um, <laughs> cut down on my footprint in the world and go get a diva cup. I already have like a few things I had. I, I had two uh, period pads. This is one. I'm gonna try and figure out where I got these. And this is the other. This one looks probably not as great because I haven't figured out how to wash it as well. Well, if I show you the other side of the owl one, it's not pretty either. But here's this other one. Um, and I've had them now for a few months. I don't know, I maybe had them for a year, but I've only had two, and I've meant to, like, make more. I actually made one a while ago. It's not great looking. I just finished it, like, the other day, like, the top. I kind of didn't care. I was thinking I'm not going to use it, but I re because I thought it was too short. But then I realized this, these two are the exact same length, just about. So I was like, maybe I may use this this month. It looks kind of funky, but eh. So today I'm going to be on a quest to get a Diva Cup because I, I, I don't know. I want to see if it works for me. And I've had issues with tampons where it makes me feel really, I don't know, it, f it makes me feel like I'm going to cramp more than I normally do. So I'm going to get dressed and head out to the only place that I know that's going to have them, which is Whole Foods. <laughs> okay, so I have an interview this morning, afternoon. It's almost one o'clock. Okay, <laughs> I have an interview um, at this restaurant that I went and had lunch at like a few days ago. It's called The Greek Corner. And it's on in like the Ivanhoe district because I saw that they were hiring and I was just like, okay, you know, it doesn't hurt to look. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, so ah, I feel stupid, but I'm running in and I'm trying to stop myself from watching BuzzFeed videos. But after that, I'm heading to... Whole Foods. Oh my gosh, I'm so dizzy right now. I'm gonna head to Whole Foods after this. Um, I meant to go get there beforehand, but it took me a really long time to leave the house because I feel like bleh. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so I'm at the Altamont Springs Whole Foods. They just opened this one recently. Uh, part of the reason why I came here is it's a bigger Whole Foods. I'm used to this one in Winter Park, which is kind of close to on par with like public size. And this one, which is kind of supposed to be more on par with like, um, what can I say? Uh, like New York ones and everything. Like our one that we have on Sand Lake, which is more in the tourist district, it's supposed to be huge. And I want to check if there's more variety, and there definitely is so far, and probably going to be everything. So I'm kind of excited. I came here also to figure out if they have more than the Diva Cup, because I've seen two different things at my Winter Park one, which is the Diva Cup and another one, but I want to look to see if they have more than that here, so hopefully I'll get lucky. <laughs> okay, so I found what I was looking for, but it's the exact same thing as the other Whole Foods, so I'm a little upset. Uh, I've got the Diva Cup in Model A, A1 and 2, and then there's the in Tamina cup, there's a Lily cup model A, and then they have their compact like travel all, which is a little weird. Um, I kind of want to get the in in Tamina only because it describes it better. Because it with the Diva cup, it gives you like two options. Model A says 
It's like for women under 30 years old who have never delivered vaginally or by C-section. And two is for women over 30 years old and or for women who have been deli- who have delivered vaginally or by C-section. Well, in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, I've never given birth at all, but I'm over 30. I'm 30. Exactly 30. So that's my brain is just like, should I do that? Uh, or should, with the Intamina cup, it says like, their model A specifically tells me, like with model A, it says, have not given birth, I've given birth by a cesarean, or the model B is, I've given birth naturally, I have a weaker pelvic wall floor. Well, that's that weird part right there, is, I don't, I mean, like, I haven't given birth, but I don't know if I have a weak pelvic wall, so I'm not sure what I should do, so I'm going to find one of these people who could probably answer my questions. (laughs) Oh, okay. So, ooh, I asked two people. I didn't officially get my question answered, so in the end I just had to be like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and try the bigger one because I don't know. (laughs) But also I asked a guy, so that was kind of awkward. Um... But now I'm just going to explore the store. It definitely does look different than the store down the Sand Lake. And you can, oh my gosh, you can just smell it everything. So this is kind of killer. One difference I see already is the fact that the one on Sand Lake has like a wine sit down food place where this one doesn't. But it looks pretty awesome. This is like the general grab and go foods area. Coffee, bake shop. The chef at work. Which, I mean, like, it's still some of the necessary things, like, you grab the stuff by the weight. They have pizza. Oh, they have a walk street. That's something I saw. I was walking in and they were talking about getting walk food, and I was like, what? <laughs> I want to go over there. That sounds delicious. But I can't eat right now, so I'm a little upset. <laughs> yeah! So, oh, and a fit. Well, they label it better, so I guess you know where to go, too. But the walk, I haven't seen a walk thing in a Whole Foods before. It's just like, walk street, noodles, rice and curry. Someone back there working hard. There's sushi, of course, but like it looks like maybe you can actually personally make your own walk dishes, which is nice. Fishmonger, of course. Frozen. Butcher. Traditional. But it is kind of nice, because then you can actually see what you need. Um salad bar <laughs> signature salads <laughs> international cuisine artisan bread was over there in chilies and soups the bread looked really good actually um, it is definitely a wide layout it doesn't look like the sand like sort necessarily so I'm a little sad about that oh well I'm here I wanted to look for I'm trying to also do like a taste on like certain vegan stuff and whatnot so I'm gonna look at some of the cheeses because I was looking at a lot of people doing these videos on vegan cheese and there's some days I actually want to be completely away from meat I've unfortunately fallen into one of those videos that discuss like how dairy's made so I kind of want to occasionally work my way away from that on a regular basis so but it, it is very well label around here. It's like dairy alternative. There's a lot of the tofurkey and such. <laughs> and milk alternative. <laughs> Grass filled milk. The soy, almond, and everything. So I'm gonna go to town for a minute and get out of here fast because I'm gonna end up spending a lot of money. <laughs> I'm a little scared about that. Alright, so I'm gonna open my DU tip. Well, I've already opened it. Uh, Some of the fun facts, comfortable, clean, and easy to use, leak-free protection for up to 12 hours at a time, 100% silicon, no color, plastic, BPA, latex, reusable, eco-friendly, and economical. So this is like 40-something bucks. I got this one. Inside there is, there's instructions. I have change everywhere in my house. 
um, as an instruction manual Yikes. on how to use it. It's like fold into a taco and put in. That seems about like everybody says about cups. Um, I mean, I feel like there's a, it's in a lot of different languages. Um, uh, and of course it also has it more written out. There's a baggie that I dropped in the toilet. <laughs> oh, crap. Whoops. Well, I have to do some laundry, I think. <laughs> and there's there's the cup. No, I didn't break anything. I just dropped something in the toilet. <laughs> No, it's okay. I got it. <laughs> All right. So I read the instructions. I'm not sure if I have mild enough soap, <laughs> so I'm not going to try it yet. I may go back to the store or to the one that's closer to me and get the get the wash because the wash is at least it's not like a. <clears throat> I read the instructions on the wash. The wash says it's not just for washing the Diva Cup, um, but like it really was specific, like use a mild soap, unscented or something, or make sure you use a soap that doesn't have antibacterial. I forgot I have seventh generation. I might be able to wash it with this. So that should be pretty easy. Um, so maybe I should just keep buying seventh generation soap. Um, but. Uh, you want to wash it before you put it in. I haven't put it in yet. I feel like I'm actually pretty late for my first day, which is kind of weird. But I know tomorrow's going to be awful. But on the other on the other hand, there's a couple other things that are going on today. And I'm going to film that. <laughs> okay, so I came home after work. And I knew I didn't have many pads left or tampons. So I have like one or two reusable, not reusable, excuse me, uh, one or two disposable pads left. I don't know if I have any tampons left. I decided to go ahead and try the Diva Cup uh, because I assumed having seventh generation soap should be the equivalency of being mild. I went ahead and washed it with that and warm water like it says in the instructions and inserted it as best as I could from deciphering what it said in the instructions. Now, Right now, I'm a little confused because I I don't know. I feel like I'm just sitting here and just leaking, 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 leaking. Which, again, I don't know. I'm new to this. And I'm horrified and I'm scared. So I keep wanting to check and I keep wanting to check and I keep wanting to check. And I'm just like, oh. Is this how it feels? Like your first time doing um, a Diva Cup? Or something of that nature. Now I'm like in the bathroom staring at my mirror so I can see that I'm at least in frame. But is that how it is? Because I'm like just terrified. But hopefully it'll work out because I'm eventually going to go to sleep. And I hope like I don't leak in the bed. Because I hate having to like change out my sheets and everything. It's really annoying. Okay. Um, well hopefully this is a good night. I might eat something but then go to sleep. Hopefully everything works out well. Yeah, I'm looking at myself in the mirror and then I'm looking at the camera. I'm in the mirror and the camera. Okay, and I'm gonna stop.